Alicia and Tony now join us, and thank you both so much for being here. You just obviously <laughs> witnessed Deborah's story and told us a little bit about your own. Did, did you ever feel like you could get to the other side of all of this? Uh, I read every meditation and uh, uh, self-help and PTSD book on the market, and I was able to get stronger in good times but when there was something that sort of like rocked me, I fell to the deepest place and when I came out wasn't up to me, right? So like taking two or three weeks out of my life was really damaging to my relationships and my progress in life, you know? And now? And now, I mean, there's a few, it's only been a month and there's already been a few things that would have had me a wreck and I'm just dealing, you know? I'm like. Surviving. Alicia, I understand you never even used to be able to trust a person standing next to you. So tell us, how has that changed? Um, since, since the procedure, amazing. I'm able to get out more, you know. I had a real big issue getting into crowds and everything, but since the procedure, I swear this smile is 100% genuine. I, I have to bring something up that's cool. Uh, Alicia and I flew in the plane. She said, she only had one complication of a procedure. Her face hurts from all the smiling. Huh. Well, and I, I love hearing that. And I don't, you know, and I, I, I'm so happy for Tony, Alicia, Deborah. Obviously, military sexual trauma, post-traumatic stress disorder, post-traumatic stress injury, very complex different treatment modalities. I wanna bring Dr. Spertelli into this conversation as a psychiatrist because obviously in medicine, adoption of new treatments and procedures can be very slow. I'm curious how the psychiatric community looks at some of these new modalities like the injection that, that Dr. Lipov is using. Yeah, it, listen, it's so promising and it makes perfect sense physiologically and psychologically. I, from what I understand, there's a huge study going on now that's supposed to be finished in about 2018, so we're really eager to see that data. Yes, yeah, so science can, study. That's there right. you go, so we can employ this and potentially get an FDA approval of some kind eventually down the line. And you know, something that, something that really, really stands out to me is that the physiologic response of PTSD stands in the way of a lot of the therapeutic response. Right. So if we can turn down that thermostat a little bit, Right. then we can really talk to the patients more free, where they're not so guarded and fearful. Right. So that's just, it's, it's just tremendous. Your three stories are so encouraging. Hopefully, women out there watching, men out there watching who have been a victim, they can learn something. But I know there's someone really special here in Deborah's heart, your son, Justin, so proud of you. I want to invite Justin out on stage. So Justin, can you come join us? think of your mom? I think of her as an inspiration. <laughs> I'm just so happy for you and I'm so happy that you were able to share your story and I'm so excited for your future, which I know you felt was so bleak yeah. just a few months ago and I think you're living proof for anyone out there watching as well as Tony and Alicia that, that there is help and finding the right help, you can turn your life around. We're gonna have more resources on our website, thedoctorstv.com. Thank you so very much, Dr. Lipoff, thank you. Thank you. Ladies, thank you.